Okay, so I was here to talk about transit-oriented design and adaptive reuse. And in talking about those things, the clear set of issues here are that uh, transit-oriented design is the idea that we have an infrastructure, we have train lines, bus lines, things like that. If we as a society are going to decide where things should get built next, we clearly want things to be built along the infrastructure path of the transit so that we can encourage people to use those transit modes. But that idea of encouraging has implication. People don't always want that to happen. People feel change is weird. Suddenly you're picking winners and losers. People who are inside the zone of uh, influence of the transit station, people who are outside that zone. And so it's complicated. The idea is simple. We can all get behind the idea, but it's still complicated when you get to a specific situation. Same thing can be true about adaptive reuse. When we talk about adaptive reuse, we're talking about the idea of uh, existing buildings, those existing buildings have a lot of embodied energy, meaning all the energy it took to make that building happen. So that building uh, had a bunch of bricks. Those bricks got trucked in from somewhere. They were uh, manufactured in some places. All the energy it took to get those bricks. Well, then there's the foundation that has all the concrete in it. That concrete had to be trucked into that site. So there's all that energy. Uh, the energy it took to smash the uh, rocks, uh, the limestone, so that that limestone became the aggregate in that concrete. So they're smashing rocks 50 years ago, 100 years ago, all of that energy that it took to make that building. And if we're gonna put a new building there, well, we could just throw all that away, or we could find some way to adapt it, an adaptive reuse. And so it's a sort of no-brainer. Obviously, if we want to encourage sustainability, we want to encourage people adaptively reusing buildings. But once you say that, just like on the transit-oriented design, there are other issues that come into play. New buildings, there are new expectations, there's moisture issues, there's uh, air conditioning issues, there's insulation issues, there's movement issues. All building materials move in the winter versus the summer uh, versus high humidity versus low humidity. So everything's shifting and changing all the time. By putting old next to new, uh, you're always sort of gonna have a little bit of an issue. So there's downsides and there's upsides. But in general, transit-oriented design, adaptive reuse are clearly the ways that we should be imagining the future in order to get as much benefit out of the infrastructure that we have as opposed to constantly building out more on virgin land farther and farther away from the cities uh, and always trying to get new construction in a way that's not going to be reusing that energy uh, that has already been put into those elements. So transit-oriented design, adaptive reuse, uh, they're sort of old ideas, but still the wave of the future.